Glastonbury, Reading and California's Coachella, I think it's fair to say that festival season has arrived. Is there an Oxford equivalent? Sadly not. There is, however, Wadstock. <laughs> Wadstock is Wadham's annual music and arts festival held in Wadham Gardens and marking the end of Wadham Arts Week. Today, Cheryl is lucky enough to have a look around. I'm here with Femi from Millie is a Boy. So, how would you describe your band? Um, yeah, we do a lot of different things. I personally rap and sing. We have another singer, Peter Thicket. Um, but everything ranges from kind of more mainstream stuff, like Destiny's Heart, that kind of stuff, covers to some more original kind of slightly more hip hop feels. I might like probably what? The original prodigy. All grown up and there ain't no stopping me. Red like an overdog Catholic. You saw a rise like the rabbit out of the hat. Magic a reference to transubstantiation. To believe the red and white could be body of blood. A simple transformation. Dream is mine. It's the city of dream is mine. It's the city of dream is mine. It's the city of dream is dream is mine. We have a lot of old stuff. We have Bill Withers, um, Marvin Gaye. Um, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But we mix, I like to mix up old tunes with our own lyrics, our own um, our own raps, that kind of stuff. When it comes to festivals, fashion is an essential part. Now, there's no doubt there are some very stylish people here, why don't you, but Cheryl why don't you, wants to find the best dress, so. In order to do this, I've got Arena, who's also on the Cheryl fashion team. So join me as I look the three of the most stylish people here. Okay, person number one. So I really like her jumpsuit. That's what kind of stood out to me. <laughs> and I think it goes really great with her hair as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I've dyed my hair this morning, so. Oh, right, for this? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so was there a festival look you were getting for today? Um, not really, but I bought this last year and I was saving it for the right occasion. Okay, then. Yeah. Today is the day. Today is the day. <laughs> What I'm most interested in are people that incorporate kind of traditional festival looks into their outfits. It's like some kind of cool flower headbands, but at the same time put their own spin on it. Okay, I like that, I like that. Kind of traditional, but original. Exactly. So what do you think of Wadstock? I'd rather be gardening. Number two. So what really caught my eye here is the flower headband. Um, did you make it yourself? I did. I spent hours uh, perfecting it. I think it's quite beautiful. Were you going for a particular look when you put this outfit together? Yeah, I was sort of going for like the quite sort of, you know, I'm going for like the Oxford student vibe. So like enough to be identified as one, but also wavy underneath. I've got uh, none of these clothes are really my own. Um, this isn't mine. This I, I, I stole from a friend of mine. And uh, this, however, this very tight shirt is my my own possession. So, okay. so this, which is the core of my outfit, I can claim ownership of it. So are you guys enjoying yourselves? Yeah! So much! Check his thumb, that's why yeah. he's enjoying himself. I bleed for this. <laughs> how, how did that happen? Hey, that thing is a death trap. Um, you think bleeding like, is the ultimate sacrifice. You think padding would protect you, it does not protect you. Uh, Warstock is great because they have gladiatorial combat. Right. Okay, and now I want you each to give one word to describe Woodstock. <laughs> Sasha, starting with you. Woodstock. Uh, vibes. Vibes? <laughs> Guys, why are you here today? Mostly for the vibe. <laughs> have you been to Woodstock before? No, but it's a good vibe. Music included just about everything, from jazz and punk, a cappella and soul, to Oxford's very own Society of Ukulele Players.
Will you go for a particular look when you put your outfit together? Um, I actually didn't bring a coat and this is my mum's firework coat. Okay. So that's what I went for. All right, well it works. <laughs> and so I just threw it together. <laughs> Style-wise, do you prefer Glastonbury or Coachella? Glastonbury. Because like Coachella's so like fake. Like Glastonbury's like legit. Coachella's like you only go to look sick. Like I'm not about it. I would have said Coachella but it's got a bit kind of pretentious. Fair enough. So it's kind of lost its actual festivalness because they're all walking around in stilettos. Okay. So a bit of in between. Secret garden party. Activities and stalls included floral headband making, face painting, body glitter and even a photo booth for the happy snappers out there. range of bands that we have and the fact that it's so close to finals and yet people can have a whole day in the gardens where they can just forget about work and drink cocktails, dance to mediocre music <laughs> and enjoy all the fun that we have here. Yeah and I think it's good that there's kind of a real like the day does change throughout the whole day like it's quite nice and well very chilled now everyone's relaxing and then you know we gets a bit rowdier later. <laughs> also quite a lot of the bands that have a chance to play at balls and bigger events are here and people do enjoy them but also people that don't often get a chance to show their talent okay. or what they do so yeah. yeah earlier in the day it's nice to see a bit of that. So I'm here with MOHR and you've just been performing now how was that? Yeah that was exciting that was the crowd's pretty. really receptive. I think, you know, <laughs> it's a good crowd I highly recommend if yeah. people are interested in playing. Good fun yeah. here. One stop. This is Deluca Kavanagh reporting for Chairwell. Thank you guys. Big